So the first thing we need to do is to activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom in to one of the squares right here, grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that is one of the small squares tall and a full one of the big squares wide. Deselect the stroke, select the fill and give this bar a green color that you like. Then pick the selection tool, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and duplicate this bar one time. Then while holding down the shift key, rotate the bar 90 degrees. Then place it exactly like this. Now select both objects, go to the Pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Then go to this button right here that says Unite. After that, create another duplication of this object and place it right here. Then pick the Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points right here and with the arrow keys on your keyboard, notch them up one time. Then select these two anchor points right here and with the arrow keys, notch them one time to the right. Then pick the selection tool and repeat the step we just did two more times. So now we should have something like this, where the objects get smaller and smaller every time we copy it. So grab all the objects, hold down the ALT key to duplicate all the objects and place the duplications like this. Now color these copies a different green than the first green. I will choose a darker green. Now select all the objects. Hold down the ALT key and once again duplicate all the objects and place them like this. Now grab all the objects again. Hold down the ALT key to make a duplication of all the objects and drag them to the right. Then rotate these objects 180 degrees. Then place these duplications like this. So that the top of this tree aligns with the bottom of this tree. Now we need to zoom out a little bit. Pick the selection tool again and one last time select all the objects and duplicate these like this. So that the top of this tree aligns with the bottom of this tree. So here we have the pattern and now we need to find a rectangle that we can cut out of this pattern that can be repeated seamlessly. So deselect all objects, select the pen tool and start drawing from the top of this exact tree and let me just move a little bit and go from the top of this tree and all the way down to the top of this tree. Now move up like this until we reach the top of a similar tree. Then go to the top of this tree and close off the rectangle. And we can transform the rectangle to a stroke just to make it easier to see what we are doing. Now pick the selection tool, select the rectangle we just made and all the objects inside it. It doesn't matter if you also select some of the objects outside the box. Then select the shape builder tool, hold down the ALT key to get a minus sign next to the cursor and subtract all the shapes alongside the box. Then pick the selection tool and delete the rest of the objects. Then pick the box and delete this one as well, leaving behind a shape like this. Now select all these objects, hold down the shift key and rotate them 45 degrees. And now we can simply grab all these shapes and place them inside the swatch panel. This will create the pattern swatch we need, but we can make some final adjustments to the pattern after applying it to an object, just to give the pattern the scale that we want. So now we can delete these objects, zoom out to see the canvas, create an object and apply the pattern to the object. So now if we want the trees to be a little bit bigger, we can right click the object with the pattern, go to transform, go to transform each. Here we can check the preview button make some adjustments to the scale, uncheck transform objects to make it stay inside the box and click OK. And don't worry if you see some white lines in your pattern, they will not be visible when you export your artwork as a PDF file. Thank you for watching.